Hello everyone. Happy Thursday. I'm so off on my days. Um, not only do I not know what weekday it is, but I also apparently don't know what date it is. Um, I had an email for a Zoom um, and all I read was that it was Thursday. So today's Thursday and I got ready to get on. And when I clicked on the Zoom link, it said this event is scheduled for 520, which is not today. Um, so yeah, uh, I did think it was a little odd that it was today, but it is actually um, an event that Stampin' Up! is doing for those who are not able to, um, to attend the uh, incentive trip. So the incentive trip to Maui is actually um, starts this weekend and uh, we chose to not go to Maui, of course, with the baby and everything. Um, so I just cashed out the trip, uh, but they're still doing a gathering for everyone who, um, who made that decision uh, so that we can all be together uh, and still uh, enjoy that camaraderie of uh, being together with those who, who earned the trip. So that is super exciting. I didn't want to miss out and so much so that I was completely off on what day of the week it was or not what day of the week, uh, what day of the month apparently. So I even went to the dollar store this morning to make sure I had all my Hawaiian gear, but that's okay. We needed the Hawaiian gear for Claire's birthday party at the end of the month anyway. So now I just have more time to prep it. So that's super exciting. I do wish I was um, headed to Maui um, or at least I wish I could teleport uh, to Maui because I think um, trying to pack up uh, both Alex and Claire and me and everyone would just be chaotic um, and so stressful and everything, So, um, which is why we didn't decide to go. But anyway, uh, I am here on this Thursday with all of you guys because I wanted to show you guys some samples that I created with the Enjoy the Moment stamp set. Um, have no fear, it just has a red X through it because I own it. That's how I like to do my catalog. Um, so this is my catalog with the bound um, edging. And I like to go through the catalog and mark everything that I own so that I know what I have and what I want and what I need and what I, um, you know, all those happy things. So I just put a little X through it. So red obviously means that I own it. Um, although usually I do like a different color for what I own and then I do red for the retired whenever it comes out. Um, but I did red this time because that was the first marker I found apparently. So. So this is the stamp set. Uh, you can see that there's some excellent um, options of different projects to do that are right in the catalog to give you inspiration. Uh, so here it is. Um, I did get a, um, a information piece that said what each of these are. I do know that that's gumballs and that that's uh, airplanes or helicopters is what we call them. Um, let me know what you guys call those. They're maples, right? I'm pretty sure. Because um, they're flying all over the crate, all over the place right now. It's super crazy. Um, but yeah, we always call those helicopters because as they float to the ground, they kind of spin around and everything. And then I think this is milkweed because I remember always having it. The um, There's like little like beads in there. And so when they dry out, you can like shake them. And then if you turn them upside down, then they sometimes fall out of the holes um, because they've dried up so much. So um, so that's always kind of fun that we always played with as a kid. Hi, Mary. Yep, that's kind of how I feel. Um, you know, we uh, we were super excited to have a baby and um, and the timing just didn't work out. And you know, with COVID and everything, I wasn't really sure what uh, was gonna happen. So, um, so it was kind of best that we not do a big trip like that right now. So it's no big deal. Um, like I would love to be on the beach, um, listening to the waves and feeling the sand. Um, but I also am enjoying, uh, the comfort of my home and snuggling on the baby. So there's always time for that later or different trips and things like that. So it's, it's all good. And Stampin' Up! is spoiling us, uh, that for those of us that can't, um, or chose not to go. So it's it's fabulous. I'm excited about it. Um, which I why I was so excited about this Zoom call and it's next week. So I hope I don't forget next week. So uh, this stamp set, I thought, um, like in the beginning, I kind of thought it was like weeds and I wasn't super excited about it, although I do like the greetings. But then I thought, you know, it's just nature and, um, and I think that they would make good masculine cards 
or note cards, especially with the a little note. Um, so I made a series of cards from super simple to more advanced um, based on supplies, based on time, and based on um, like your comfort with stamping. So I'm gonna go through and show you guys all of these samples and let me know what you guys think about them. Um, Brad did not like some of them. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about some of them and I kind of love some of them. <laughs> so let's go through. I used um, the new in color soft succulent and then I used various shades of brown. So I used this like minty, deep, mossy green, um, as well as, like I said, various shades of brown. I used um, some early espresso, which I liked the best, some soft suede, and some cinnamon cider. So you can see they're just kind of like three different shades of brown. This one, of course, has a lot more red in it than I was expecting, um, but it still kind of gives that, um, that nature-y, rustic sort of look. So... Let's get started and I'll show you the first card. Super simple, minimal supplies and very gorgeous. This is nothing but cardstock and ink. So, um, you know, Stampin' Up! always talks about their basics of um, stamps, ink, and paper and that's exactly what this card is. Stamps, ink, and paper. Um, I didn't raise anything up, it's just flat paper and stamping on the front. What I did was I stamped this image first in the early espresso. And then whenever I stamped the happy birthday, I never went back to the ink. So I stamped it down and then went up and over and around and here and there and over like, and that's how I did that. Let me show you um, just a little sample of how I did that. Some of them I feel like look better than others. Um, and you just kind of have to go with it and know that it's gonna be a little bit messy. So I took the happy birthday stamp and, um, and of course the card, but I'm just going to use a piece of scrap, uh, very vanilla right now. So I'm just going to ink it up, ink it up once and then stamp it down and then just go up and over a little and down and over and around and here and a little bit there. And so then you kind of have that happy birthday. Now you can continue to sort of stamp like over some of them so that it really looks like there's a happy birthday like everywhere and it's sort of like fading into the background. Or you can always stop early if you wish. Or you can stamp it three times and call it a day. Um, like, you know, there's another thing that you could do is stamp it just one, two, three. Like one, two, three. And do something like that. But that's how I did my very basic one. Again, like I said, stamps, ink, and paper. Gorgeous card. Um, makes a great birthday card. I think it looks great for a masculine card. Um, but it would also be great for just a regular like note card too um, for sending out happy mail. So you could use the, um, the a little note and, um, and stamp that on the front. So that's that greeting there. And then on the inside, you could always say something like friendship is found in simple things. Uh, and then just send a little happy mail piece. So very simple, very basic. That's the first one. Then the next one I did, I stepped it up just a little bit and I added dimensionals. So you can see I used a different image from the set and stamped that here in the corner and then did that same technique of stamping multiple times up top, but I added this top vanilla piece with dimensionals. So it kind of gives a little bit more oomph to the card and a little bit more texture to the card. And let me try to like set these side by side so hopefully you can see the difference between the two of those. Maybe, maybe not. Like you can see how there's like a little shadow behind this one because it's popped up just a little bit. And this one's very um, simple and, and, and basic, I guess you could say. So let's set those two there. Then I did the next one and added just a little bit more to it. So this one I used the gumball there and then did that same happy birthday. And then I actually put the two together, the vanilla and the um, soft succulent and then wrapped some of this 
um, baker's twine around it to give it even more texture and and look to that. So again, three little steps. The, um, the baker's twine that I used is this fabulous new pack that has so many great colors in it, especially with the neutrals. So it's got like a white, a gray, um, a crumb cake, a vanilla, and a black. So you have like all of your neutrals all in one pack and I find that to be so, so fun. This is one of the um, new um, ribbon packs, but I love it. And I used that crumb cake one. The other thing is, is when you look at this, it almost looks like that like crackly, hard, thick, um, stiff baker's twine. It's actually really soft and, and fabric-y like. Like it's really, really soft. And that is totally not what I was expecting um, looking at this. Uh, so I was really excited about that because it's easier. Um, the softer it is, the more pliable it is to be able to work with. And, um, and I love that. So there's the three basic cards, just a little step up between each one. And as you can see, I used a different image from that stamp set for each one. I did happy birthday for all of them um, because I really need birthday cards right now. <laughs> so a lot of times I want to show off different uh, greetings in the set, uh, but I also really need birthday cards right now. So these are definitely going to be used very quickly. <laughs> So now I have a stepped up version. This one, um, again, these all kind of use that stamp sink and paper, um, but you're just kind of adding an extra little step to it uh, based on the time that you might have, the supplies you might have. Um, and then of course this one adds a little bit of an embellishment. So you're just kind of bumping it up just a little bit more. Um, and those who like bows, and I, I wanted to do it as a knot, but I went ahead and went with a bow. So you could do a knot or a bow, whichever you prefer. I know a lot of people don't really like ribbon and stuff because, um, because bows are difficult. So um, I get that. That's perfectly fine. So now I decided to get out my Stampin' Cut and Emboss and really uh, bump this up uh, to the next level. So with this one here, you can see that I used an embossing folder on the background here. And I also used the stitched rectangles uh, to, stamp, or to stamp these two images on. So you can see that the stitched rectangles add just a little bit of extra um, texture and look to, to the card. You can't even hardly see those stitches. That makes me a little sad because they're super cute. And I cranked through the Stampin' Cut and Emboss for those. But you can see there um, with the texture of the embossing folder and then the texture of that. And then I just added that extra layer of, um, of color to it and everything too. Then I just did banner tips with the Happy Birthday on Crumb Cake. Now whenever I added the twine, I decided I was gonna go ahead and fray the ends of the twine after I tied the knot. So I tied it into a double knot and then I just took my scissors down low and sort of pulled apart all those little pieces. Um, I don't really like it. I kind of wish I didn't do that. And Brad said it looked like a hot mess. So womp womp, but that's okay. Some of you guys might like it. Some of you guys might not. I don't think any recipient's gonna go, oh wow, why did she give me this card? It looks awful with that frayed ribbon. So I'm okay with it and I went ahead and just um, and kept it because you just never know. It might give someone inspiration that didn't know that they could fray their ribbon. So um, you can always fray your ribbon for a totally different look in a different card. It might look amazing in this card. Meh, I'm not too, um, too pumped about it. And then I actually have my last sample, uh, which is stepped up just a smidge more, but similar to this one is on the other side of the table. So hold on just a second. I'm still here with you guys. So the last card, I used that embossing folder. I die cut out one extra of the stitched rectangles and I did it going the other way. I did add dimensionals to the embossed piece as well as these images here. 
And then for this one, I actually used all three of those colors. So Early Espresso, Soft Suede, and Cinnamon Cider. Um, I don't think I like the multiple colors. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, which one is your favorite? Do you like the three colors that I used here to kind of mix it up? Or do they look so similar that it just kind of looks like I messed up? Or what do you guys think about it? The bad thing is, is I feel like these two are really close together. Now on camera, um, I will say they do look a smidge different. Like this one looks darker and then this one looks a little bit more brown. Like this one almost looks black, which Early Espresso does. It's a very rich, dark brown. Um, and then the Soft Suede uh, looks a little bit more brown. And then this, of course, has that red tinge to it and everything too. So yeah, let me know uh, which one do you guys like the best? Do you like the Simple? Do you like the um, the more difficult, the stepped up? Do you like the multiple colors? Let me close this ink pad before something bad happens. So let's see if I can scoot all of these up. And then maybe I should just put this one up here and scoot these down again. The first one, so you really like the, the super basic one? I actually kind of do too. And then I just feel a little guilty. Like, well, did I go too simple? Like, that's too easy. But you know what? Sometimes simple stamping is the best. It's just, um, it's just stamping. So stamp, have fun, um, make it from the heart, and, and send it out because that's all that matters anyway, right? Um, I'm sure anybody would love to get any of these cards, whether it's a simple one or a stepped up version. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys all of those different levels um, because I know some of you guys might be beginners and um, something like this might be very intimidating for you. Um, but also something like this is so super fabulous as well. Or um, for those of you maybe who have been stamping forever, you might like to try a simpler version or you just might be interested in the fully, um, the fully stepped up one. So yeah, there's so many different ways that you can use this. So the soft suede on both ends and then um, just nix that cinnamon cider. That's a good idea too because then you have those two shades of brown but not quite that different uh, bold difference of a brown. Good idea, Ladine. Thanks for that. Um, then I think it would look a little bit more like matched and not so off with that other one. But yeah, I hope you guys find inspiration in, um, in these samples and get some great ideas to use for the Enjoy the Moment stamp set, which is this one here. There's so many other images that you could use on here. Um, you know, I just used these two, this one, and that one. Oh, I guess this one is also used there. So other greetings could be used. Other images could be used. And you could make a whole bunch of note cards. You could even do something very simple like this with whatever solid colored cardstock that you have on hand. Um, and then your favorite brown or black or whatever it might be. Make a stack of those really quick to give to a friend. Because um, who wouldn't love to get hand stamped cards to be able to send out? So, um, so super cute. Uh, like I said, this is kind of a stamp set that I don't know that I fell in love with immediately, um, but it's super fun and I think it'll make great masculine cards and I struggle with masculine cards. So um, so yeah, I'm hoping to make a lot of bulk cards with this um, and I probably will make more of like these two um, just to get them made quickly, um, but I also think I like those the best. Like. This one I love, this one with just that little bit of dimensional, because you guys know how much I love dimensionals. Um, I kind of like those better than, than these other ones that use the embossing folder and, um, and the dies and everything. But I will say, you guys, I am loving my mini because I just can like carry it around and push it around and pop it anywhere and be able to do small little images like the, um, like the small little stitched rectangle. Like, I'm telling you, it's a totally different ball game, and I did not expect that to happen. Um, I kind of thought it would just be another die cutting machine, and it wouldn't be any different than the big one. But it's so different, so little, so convenient, and I love it. Um, so yeah, I did leave a link in the description for the Enjoy the Moment stamp set. 
Um, but I should also link the mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss because it's fabulous. Don't forget that the free stamp set of the month for orders of $75 or more uh, through me is the best chapter stamp set. So you still have time to snag that because it's not even the 15th of the month or the 20th, Laura. So um, my Zoom call is on the 20th, which is next Thursday, not this Thursday. <sighs> One of these days I'll get it together and know what day it is. <laughs> so I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. It is Thursday. I kept thinking a wonderful weekend because I thought it was Friday. Um, but yeah, we'll get it together one of these days and have um, and have fun stamping either way. We don't. It doesn't matter what day it is to stamp. We can stamp every day. I am working on cleaning out um, my stamp room with all the retired stuff, so stay tuned. I will probably be doing my stamp garage sale in June, so if you're getting excited about that, um, then let me know in the comments here that you're excited about the Stampin' Garage sale, uh, and I'll make sure that you get a notification when that goes live. I'll see you guys all later. Love, hugs, and prayers. Have a wonderful Thursday. Have a wonderful weekend, whatever it might be. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe and stay healthy.